Hello everyone and welcome for this new tutorial. Unreal just launched their new sample project, which is the game animation sample. There is a lot of animation in this sample. You can find how to use motion matching. And today we will see how to use this project for our own character. So we'll use our bunny character that we used in previous video. And you will see how to use your own character with this sample project. Then you will be able to create your own game with all of the animation and everything from this sample. Before we start, I just created a Discord server. So you can join if you want. You can ask questions, you can come and share the stuff that you're working on. The link will be in the description. Feel free to join and share everything you want. Just make sure you respect the rules. You can also become a member of the channel. We have the join button. I will create some badges and emojis for the channel. It will be very cool. So feel free to join the channel and become a member. And for us, we will go in Unreal and we will start looking at this sample project. In the Epic Game Launcher, you can go into sample, into Unreal Engine, and you can find the new game animation sample. You can click on it. And in here, we can create a project. So we'll create a project. I call this tutorial on a character. We'll create a new project with this sample. Okay, so now we can find our own project into library. We have the tutorial on character. So we'll open it. Okay, so here is the project. If I launch the game, you can see that we have our character. We have a lot of different animation and we can actually do some parkour. So we can jump on here and everything is working with motion matching. It's calculating where we are going with the velocity and the direction. And then it will choose between the different animation that are on his database. I will make a video on motion matching another time. It's a very, very big subject, but you can actually use this project without knowing anything about motion matching. So that's very cool. So you can see there is a lot of different animation. We can jump and stuff like that. And they actually use runtime retargeting. I will show you by going on this button, it opens this little window and we can use different characters. So I have my character in here, which is this one. We can, for example, change to echo. So we choose echo and we have the motion matching with the retargeting. Everything is working straight away by doing nothing. So that's the principle that we will use with our own bunny character to be able to use the same animation with the runtime retarget. So we'll do that. First of all, we'll check how does this work. If I go into the blueprints, we have our character, which is there. We are not going to go too deep into the animation. It's not the purpose of this video. If you want to learn more about the animation, Unreal just made a video. It's like one hour and a half long about this project. I will put the link to the description. So go check it out. There is a lot of information by the people who made this sample. So go check them. They know way more stuff than I do. Us, we're just there to use our own character and use their sample. So we'll do that. So here is the character with his own animation blueprint the sandbox character where all the logic is inside of this animation blueprint. And if we go into the retarget character, we can find a lot of different blueprints with all the different characters. If, for example, I get into this blueprint, we can see that the parent class is the sandbox character, which is the character that we have, the base character. And we can see that there is the mesh with our UEFN mannequin, which is not visible. It's in here. Visible is false, so we cannot see it. And on top of it, there is another skeletal mesh attached to it. So by doing this, you can use the runtime retargeting. The animation will be on the principal mesh, on the character mesh, but it will be retarget to the other skeletal mesh, which is the money. And this is inside the animation blueprint. If we open in here, there is the generate retarget. If I open this, we can see that it's actually using some stuff from a map. We will see that after. And into the anim graph, it just use the retarget post from mesh. So it gets the first mesh, get his retargeter and transfer the animation to the second mesh. And that's how the run retarget works. So we'll use that for our character. First of all, we will go into characters. We will import our own character. So we get a new folder, we call this bunny. Into this folder, we will import our little character. I have my bunny.fbx, choose this. We leave everything as default and we should have our skeletal mesh. Now that we have our skeletal mesh, I'm just going to check the skeleton. When we look at the skeleton, it's a very basic skeleton. We have the root, hips, the spine, the shoulder, and so on and so on. So it's a very, very basic skeleton. Now we need to create two things. We will need the IK rig and we will need the IK retargeter. So we'll first start by creating the IK rig into animation. If we go into retargeting, we have the IK rig. We will choose this one. Call this IK underscore bunny underscore retarget and we'll open it into the previous skeletal mesh we will choose our bunny skeleton which is the bunny skeletal mesh here it is and now we need to specify the keychain for the retargeting and the retarget root the retarget root will be the hips we will have to check for your own character it should be the pelvis or the hips it depends on how you name these bones then we right click on the root and we will do new retarget chain you choose the name root that's perfect then we'll get our spine these three bones Right click, new retarget chain, add chain. 
we'll get the neck that will be one retargeting one retarget chain the head will be head for the shoulder we'll need one that's gonna be called left clavicle for the left shoulder for the arm we can just get from left arm to left end no retarget chain left arm that's perfect for the right shoulder same thing it will be right clavicle then let's get the right arm and for the legs we can just get our entire legs right click no retarget chain left legs that's perfect let's do the same for the right leg up and that's perfect so we made all of the retarget chain that we need we have the retarget root so everything is ready to be retargeting now that we have this we'll right click into animation we will go into iKey retargeter now we need the retargeter that's gonna transfer the animation from the skeletal of the UEFN to the bunny let's choose this could this ITR for IK retargeter uh, UEFN underscore to bunny up like this now we can change we can choose the source IK rig this would be an IK UEFN mannequin and we'll need the target IK rig it will be the IK bunny retarget as we can see the bunny I'm gonna just move it onto the X that we can oops actually see the difference the UEFN mannequin is in the A pose when the bunny is in the T pose so that's gonna be an issue for the retargeting the thing that we'll do is that into the source we'll go into auto align in here I'm gonna do a running retarget and now I can do align all bones and now all the bones of the UEFN mannequin will be the same as the bunny we'll save and now if I check some animation for example they look exactly the same so the retargeting is working you can see the root animation, everything, it's working perfectly fine. So that's very cool. That means that we can now retarget the animation and use the runtime retargeting. So we'll save. Now we need to create our blueprint. We'll go in here. Into the retarget character, we'll just gonna duplicate this blueprint. So we'll click on duplicate. We'll change money to a bunny Hop. and we'll open it. Now we need to change this skeletal mesh. We call this bunny and we can go on the right and choose our skeletal mesh, which is our bunny. Compile and save. And now I will close this and I will reopen it. And now we have our bunny in here. You can see that we have a weird animation. It's not working because we need to set it up into the animation blueprint. We need to set up our retargeter. Before we change stuff into the animation blueprint, we need to add a tag to our skeletal mesh bunny. We go in here into the detail panel. We will choose tag and in here we can see retarget UEFN to UEFN mannequin. So we need to specify the name that we have choose into our bunny, the name of our retargeter. So we're gonna control C to get the name. Up, put it there. That's gonna be very important. We compile and save. And now we can go into the animation blueprint and specify that this tag will use the retargeter of our bunny. And then the animation will be working. Let's close this. Let's go into the retargeted character into the generic retarget. We'll go into the event graph. We can find in here the IK retargeter map. And if I open it into the default value, you can see all of the different retargeter of all the different character. So we'll add a new one. Into the name, we will control V to put the name of our tag. That's very important. It's the name of the tag that we have put on the mesh. Otherwise, it will not work. And then the retargeter will be the IKEY retargeter UEFN to bunny. Just this, we compile and save, and now the magic will happen. If I go and check the bunny character, we can see that now you have the idle pose. The idle pose is perfect. So that means it's going to work. To play with the blueprint of the bunny, we will change this into the world of a ride. We will set that the pawn will be our sandbox character bunny. Specify this. And now with a lot of magic, our bunny will be totally working with all of the animation, with the motion matching. The bunny can now jump on top of each of the wall. Everything is working perfectly fine. So we did nothing. It took us something like 15 minutes and we have a fully complete character with a lot of animation, with motion matching. Everything is working perfectly fine. It also works with a controller. I have my Xbox controller and I can play with this. And it's perfect. This is perfect for a game. You can just go and create a game with a bunny that's going to do parkour. So that's very cool.
And the animation looks very, very good by doing almost nothing. We just import our character. And as our character is a bipedal, he has two legs, it's very easy to retarget. And so that's it. The only issue is, I didn't try it today, but yesterday there was an issue. I wanted to migrate this character because you can create a new map in here and create your game in the sample. It will be okay. You can do that. But if you want to transfer this character to your own game, there is some issue. Normally, you will just right click on the bunny character, do assets action and do migrate. By doing migrate, we'll save that. It shows everything that's going to be migrated and there is a lot of stuff. If you press OK, it will ask in which game, in each uh, Unreal project, you want to send this character. For example, we could actually send this. If I go into my project, you could send this to the multi-platformer 3D where there is all the bunny. But the problem is it's not going to work. There will be a crash. So there is a bug. And there was a bug yesterday. I think it's the same today. I didn't check it out. I don't want to crash the, crash the project. But hopefully they will fix it one day and then we will be able to migrate the character to another project and then use it with all of the animation, everything. And it could be very cool. That's it for today. So the simple project with all of the animation is very cool. You can use your own character. It works with MetaHuman. As long as the character has two legs, it will work perfectly fine. Don't forget to check the Discord server if you want to join. Feel free to join, that could be cool. If you have any question, ask in the comment section. And if you find this tutorial useful, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you don't want to miss the next video. And I will see you on the next video.